Seams by Hazel Hall I was sewing a seam one day, just this way, flashing four silver stitches there with thread like this, fine as hair. And then four here and there again, when the seam I sewed dropped out of sight. I saw the sea come rustling in, big and grey, windy and bright. Then my thread that was as thin as hair tangled up like smoke and broke. I threaded up my needle then, for here, for there, and here again. Storytellers by Cherry Noel Some weave stories with their words, while others sew them with their hands. From what I know, the weavers and the seamstresses make the best of friends, as one will feel the other's clothing with their heart and the other will listen to their counterparts' words with their soul. So, storytellers, keep weaving and sewing. Our hearts and souls need the nourishment only your words and hands provide. Woven in the Bone by Donald S. Murray, whose father was a weaver in the Outer Hebrides. There is much that we overlook within the weave, hidden in lost patterns, like how a place stays with us when we leave till long after we have parted. We can see faint glimmerings in the path around our feet, some thrift or bird's foot trefoil, a bluebell tinkling in long grass, sea rocket soaring out of sandy soil. And too, in my ideal stretch and length of tweed, there would be reminders of steps made across Macha by the long stride of my feet, a mingling of colours, shades of iris, primrose, gentian, centauri, a kaleidoscope of orchids so rare that naturalists might think such flowers could never be stitched or sewn from memory to allow others to share. Puzzled Stitches by Hazel Hall Needle running in and out, in and out, in and out. Do you know what you're about? In and out, in and out. Fingers going to and fro, to and fro, to and fro. Do you know what path you go? To and fro, to and fro. I might tell you why you're taking such good stitches. You are making, out of linen, fine as breaking ocean spray upon a bluff, pleating for a bishop's cuff. I might make you understand that a bishop's white, white hand, because of you, will be more fair, will be raised in better prayer. Even then, would you know why you're going to and fro? Would you doubt what you're about, running in and running out? Crochet by Jan Mordensky Even after darkness closed her eyes, my mother could crochet. Her hands would walk the rows of wool, turning, bending to a woollen music. The dialots were registered in memory. Apple skin, chocolate, porcelain pan. The stitches remembered like faded rhymes. Pineapple, sunflower, Window pane, shell. Tied to our lives those past years by merely a soft coloured yarn, she'd sit for hours, her dark lips moving as if reciting prayers, coaching the sighted hands. Measurements by Hazel Hall. Stitches running up a seam are not like feet beside a stream. And the thread that swishes after is not at all like human laughter. Yet stitches are as quick as feet, leaping from a rocky pleat to seams that slip like marshy ground, and thread swish has a hollow sound. Stitches that have a seam to sew must not forget the way they go, while feet that find the cool earth sweet have forgotten they are feet and a laughter cares not why his echoes have a haunted cry. 
So stitches running up a seam are not like feet beside a stream, and the thread that swishes after is not at all like echoed laughter.